Uh, for purposes of today, we just wanted to think with the community. We want to be able to, to guide them, to, to listen from them, things that they are able to do. Some of them do things, but they don't know that is what they can be able to do to manage stress. So as Israel Aid, we are helping them to understand that. We are helping them to be able to know, one, how stress affects them, and two, how they can be able to manage from the, the several ways we have mentioned and others that uh, may apply differently from person to person. When they do something in regards to emotional, maybe be with their loved ones, be, be with their wives, their families, they feel whenever they be with them, uh, that unity, that bond helps them to be able to relieve of, self, of their stress. Others feel uh, they can do the social events, maybe play football, play music, go to gatherings, talk to friends, singing. That can also be a way you can be able to relieve yourself or to the other. One, one thing might happen to all people, but the way they react to it varies. But why it varies is because there are a lot of factors that are surrounding them. And also the way they react is different from one person to the other. So that once you are able to know how stress affects you, then we, we can be able to build your efficacy, your ability to cope up, your ability to respond, your ability to, to bounce back in the event of uh, a, a shocking situation. Yeah, as far as uh, stress management, you know these people of uh, concern, they have suffered a lot from Sudan and they are now here in Uganda, they are trying to cope up with life. They go through a lot of trauma and unfortunately most of the times um, the parties that are fighting, the armies when they are fighting, they tend to use things like rape as a weapon of war. So you find that quite a number of women have been raped. By the time they get to Uganda, we can't only take care of the physical needs. We can't only feed them, dress them up, give them shelter, water and only that. But we also have to look at what is it that we can help them to do in order, first of all, um, to put to rest and to put to a closure all that trauma that they've gone through. Yeah, because people have questions. Why me? Why did this happen to me? Um, what wrong did I do? You know, and, and those questions, if they are not solved, if they are not resolved, and someone helps you to really process that uh, and come to terms with it and let go and forgive, it can affect you. Yeah, we have seen trauma uh, really affecting people's ability to concentrate, their ability to have. Uh, hope in, in life, they get life, the future will be better. Then they won't even bother. They won't even bother, you know, engaging in activities, in ed, engaging in training sessions and stuff like that. So that is why, as Israel Aid, we really take care to make sure that um, we look at their mental needs, their mental health needs, their emotional needs, and that we are addressing them. 